FlyKnife.com here with, uh, I mean, do I really have to even say the name? You guys know who he is. Floyd Money Mayweather. Champ, what, how far out are we now? About four or five weeks or something like that? Um, I don't know how far we are, but, you know, um, it is what it is. Um, Andre Berto. Mm -hmm. And I'm not blowing smoke. You know, I'm not, just, I'm not just blowing smoke or just saying this. Every time Andre Berto fight, mm -hmm. he's, in a, in, he's in a very exciting fight. So we cannot overlook or take that away from Andre Berto. He's always in an exciting fight. And that's what it's about, you know, for the fans. Mm -hmm. Whereas I do love the fans. I mean... I appreciate and I really do embrace and love my fans, but when it's all said and done, people remember you as being a winner. Muhammad Ali was a winner. Mm -hmm. And as I look right now, what people don't know, my uncle Roger Mayweather has lost a lot of memory mm -hmm. from the sport of boxing. Mm -hmm. And it's sad that he's only in his 50s, but it seems like he's a, a old man that's in his 80s mm -hmm. from, from the sport of boxing. Sp sport of boxing has been wear and tear on, it's, sport, boxing is wear and tear on the body. Mm -hmm. My Uncle Roger, I love him dearly. And it hurts me extremely bad that he don't even know who I am anymore. Mm. My Uncle Roger don't even know who I am no more. Today, my Uncle Roger was not at the gym. Mm -hmm. He wandered off and got lost and went somewhere. Oh, wow. So we have to have different people from our team, different people from our staff out looking for Roger because they don't know where you know they don't know where he went wow and a day before me and Pacquiao fight Roger walked from the MGM Grand to his house wow that's 20 miles yeah <laughs> or probably more mm -hmm. he probably he walked I think he walked 20 miles. Wow. So, you know, I feel, I feel, so what we're working on is getting Roger some help. Mm -hmm. We have to get him a caretaker. Mm -hmm. We're working on getting him a caretaker. We're working on getting him the best help. And that's what's really important right now mm -hmm. is his health. Right. Um, for the fight, I'm I'm always in top condition. I'm always in top shape. The other day, these are these are the things that we don't talk about at the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame, and I want to thank Rich Morata mm -hmm. and Miss Corrales for helping start the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame. They started it. Right. So I want to commend them and thank them for doing that. But what's crazy is this. You know, because I be jumping all over the place. I jump from one subject <laughs> to a whole or to a, to a total different subject because my mind just be moving so fast mm -hmm. so fast so I jump you know I'm not crazy no it's like in the boxing ring your mind's just moving my mind just be moving so fast mm -hmm. and I be all over the place mentally mm -hmm. but this is something that I want to talk about what happened the other day at the Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame My Uncle Roger 
sometimes he go into a he go into a his mind frame is just crazy. Mm -hmm. He get mad, he get upset, he use foul language. So we have to have patience. We have to have patience with my uncle. We have to take time out, take a deep breath and say, just wait, just like boxing, have patience. So he didn't want to go on, he didn't want to go and accept his award mm -hmm. on stage. Right. My grandmother flew out here. Mm -hmm. Some of my family members flew out from Michigan just to show love and show support. So I had to tell my Uncle Roger, I had to calm him down, of course rub his back, because he's my uncle, I love him. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he's been there for me. Mm -hmm. I love my Uncle Roger, and it hurt me. He was like, he was like, get your fucking arms off of me, leave me the fuck alone, I'm not going to no fucking stage. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother was right there. And you know, she's in her 80s, Right. his mother, mm -hmm. the woman that raised me. So she's going through a lot. She's like, oh man, I flew out here to support him. Mm -hmm. So what I did, you know, because I'm the centerpiece, I'm the centerpiece in my family. Mm -hmm. Far as, I'm one of the most positive ones but at one particular time, I was very negative because I was surrounded by a lot of people that was negative. Mm -hmm. But one thing Roger still don't forget, he don't forget about that money. Because <laughs> once I said, once I said, they got money for you, Roger. They got money for you. He was like, what? <laughs> Who paying me? I said, and I, you know, I said, thank you, God. And right. <laughs> I just said, I said, man, they got the money from him. Mm -hmm. And he looked back and said, what? <laughs> so I was able to, I was able to make that happen. Mm -hmm. I told him, all you have to do, Roger, is go on stage and I do the talking for you. Mm -hmm. And you're getting paid. And since I'm a man of my word, mm -hmm. even though they weren't, they was not paying. Right. I paid him anyway. I gave him money anyway. Wow. I gave him a thousand dollars. Right. And he's not eating right. Mm -hmm. That's why I have to get him a caretaker mm -hmm. because he don't eat right. Every day he wake up, he go eat fast food. Mm -hmm. And I'm a, like every time I have my chef cook him a a good solid meal mm -hmm. because. He's not doing well. He's not doing well. And it's, it be days, I'm honestly speaking. It be days, I be thinking like, man, hopefully my uncle don't pass away. Wow. And he's only in his 50s. Right. You know, he got diabetes. And it's extremely bad. Because he's not eating right. You have to eat right. Mm -hmm. You have to monitor everything. And everything is not is not being monitored in the right way. Mm -hmm. So, it's bad, and it hurts my feelings. But if we, but we, we, we are still working hard in the gym. You know, with or without my uncle Roger, but mm -hmm. he's always a part of our team. He's still going. He's still going to receive a check mm -hmm. when the fight is over. And with him working with me, with the hand pads, mm -hmm. with the hand mitts, far as sharpness, he has forgot. A lot of the combinations. Wow. And it's getting worse and worse. Does that does, does that affect you at all? Um it, it hurts. Yeah. It hurt. Mm -hmm. And and that's a loss. Like a lot of times people talk about losing. Mm -hmm. I don't have to lose for us. You know, every time I went forty eight times I went out there mm -hmm. after my boxing match was over, my hand was raised. But with my Uncle Roger being sick right now, a loss of memory, that, did, that didn't just come from diabetes. Mm -hmm. It came from boxing. Yeah. 
So when I talk about, of course, I love money. I like money. Say what you want to say. My health is more important than anything mm -hmm. because people have took advantage of my Uncle Roger and stole millions of dollars from him. That's and that's because he don't know any better mm -hmm. because a loss of memory. Right. He's not sharp as he used to be. Mm -hmm. and, you, and you must realize me and my Uncle Roger was fighting professional at the same time. Wow, yeah. So that's what's going on right now, you know, with me. It hurts. And, you know, my dad is, he's in his 60s, but a lot of times I don't like how he fall into the trap of so many different reporters, mm -hmm. so many different writers. He fall into the trap every time. And I feel that with me having so much experience, I just learned people are going to talk about you if you're doing good or bad. But I prefer, I prefer for people to say, talk about me. You, I mean, well, let me, let me, let me say this over mm -hmm. because I don't like to sound dumb or like I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. If you're doing good, people are going to talk about you. If you're doing bad, people people are going to talk about you. But I prefer to do good and let them talk. Right. I, I prefer to be in a, a great situation while they're talking. Mm -hmm. That's my whole focus. Yeah. My whole focus is just being positive, um, raising my four children, making sure that, that they get the best education. Mm -hmm. And let me pull up. Yeah. Because every day, right now I'm driving my Suburban. Looks like you're about to go shopping. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go in the, the dealership. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to come back. Part two. That was just part one. We're going to talk about some other stuff. What we're going to work on when, when my career is over. And some other things. Mm -hmm. um, keep tuning in. Fighthype.com. Follow us on all social, on social media pages. Because I say us because Fight Hype has gave me a fair chance. When you give me a fair chance, I will always give you a fair chance. Treat me like you want to be treated. That's all I have to say. Mm. We'll be back.